Ernie was having trouble with a couple of words. Let's see what his tutor advised him to do. Sometimes a word looks harder than it is. It may be a long word, like confidential. An unusual word or a longer word made up of two short words, such as plywood, chipboard, wallboard, blockboard. Maria's advice to Ernie was to break the word down, watching out for the familiar part of the word and then just dealing with the new part. Another good way mm. of practising um, th these words that you've learned is to actually put them into sentences. Oh. So what we might do is we might pick a couple of these words mm. and write them down in a sentence. Would you like to, to pick out some of the words that you'd like to work on? Yeah, I, I would. Uh, th this word now, I, I find it easy. S cement. Cement. Okay, so let's, let's put the word cement into a sentence. Now, what's, what, what sentence would you be using maybe at work? Well, if you ordered three, three tonne of cement or three bags of cement. Three bags of yeah, cement. Three, three bags of cement, yeah. Okay, would you like to write that sentence down? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not still good at the pin yet. Uh, if you write it for me in, in block letters, I, I'll, I'll copy it. Right, I'll write if, it if and then okay. you, can, you can do yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, you don't have to write the word three in, in a spelling. Oh. You could actually just put down the number three. And that'll, oh. that'll save you time and trying to remember what's the spelling of the word three. Oh, yeah. So we've got three bags, bags. of oh, cement. cement. Now, maybe you'd like to copy that down underneath and it'll give you a feel for the, the writing of the uh, words. You have a bio. Uh, uh, three bags. Cement. Three bags of cement. Ernie wants to improve his handwriting, so Maria encourages him to practice writing as much as he can, beginning with a word he knows very well. Cement. Three bags. He started of cement. with the word cement, and then built a sentence around it, and even better, a sentence he'd come up against in the new job. Cement comes by the ton or the bag. Ernie chose bag. Remember too his tutor's tip about writing numbers? You don't have to write it out in letters like this. The figure will do just as well. If you've lost the habit of writing, take a leaf from Ernie's book and start with words you're comfortable with. You'll soon find that your handwriting will improve with practice. Ernie took his tutor's advice to heart and practised his reading and writing at every available opportunity. You don't have to be sitting at a desk to do it. You don't have to draw attention to yourself or make a big deal of it. Wall board. B O R A D board. Wall board. Yeah. That's good. That's fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. You'll be surprised at the number of opportunities to practice you'll find if you look for them. Cement. C-M-E-N-T. Now we better do, um, you know, a few new things this week. We've done quite a bit of revision there. Yeah. I see you brought in uh, one of the flyers from work. Yeah. So. You know, we can we can work through this yeah, by yeah. degrees over the weeks. But let's yeah. let's take a look at sheet boards for today. Yeah. Would you like to try reading them and see what kind of sheet boards you, you stock? I will. Uh, this one I, I, I because I do see it up on the shelves. Mm -hmm. Chip board B L O C K cable black board. Block. Block board. Yeah, there's a no there. Yeah. yeah. Block board. I got I, I get mixed up with that one. And this one here, M D F boards and this one here I, I, I know the word but it was awful hard to say. I know the word veneer because it's all up on the shelves yeah. that the, the, the veneer wood is up there but I, to, to try and spell it I, I couldn't I found it awful hard Difficult. so that one now if I could get that because that is coming up a lot in order sheets mm -hmm. uh, and then people asking me and I need to know that one if okay. I could practice that you could one. practice that one yeah. and yeah. you know maybe we should put this into your 
personal dictionary. Yeah, uh, that I, I'd like that. And you'd have it. Yeah. You'd have it written down then yeah. as a as a new word. As really, a new word to learn. Yeah. A new written word really, yeah. because you're you're familiar with it. Oh, on I the know. Shelf. Should I see it yeah. on the shelf every day? Um, yeah. Now we'll go back to the the dictionary part yeah. of your your book here. Yeah. Do you can you? Would you be able to think quickly now? Whereabouts in the alphabet would V come? Would it be start, middle, or end? You were saying about the first letter. So what's yeah. the first letter there? V. V. So v. we'd have to get out the personal dictionary. Let's take a look because that cuts down on the time of you yeah. rooting through will, your book. Will I you. will I start from the back? Do sure work, work your okay. way back. Yeah. Uh, good. Uh, oh yeah, here it is. Well, there's it's the V the third there. One back. Yeah, okay. The back. And you have another word there already. So we'll, this will be an, a new word now yeah. to add in underneath. Yeah. yeah. So we'll we'll put the word veneered in here on the. So I'll I'll I'll. Uh, I'll get it now. Um, v. Veneered. Veneered. So now you Veneered. have a you have a record there in your own yeah. personal dictionary yeah, yeah. of the of the word. If you need to look it up in yeah. a hurry. A personal dictionary is something you may not be familiar with. It's a great idea for improving your literacy skills. It builds up your store of written words. It keeps you on the lookout for new words. And it's a handy way to remember words you're not familiar with. Using a personal dictionary also helps you to get used to thinking about letters in alphabetical order. If it's a word like confidential, it's at the front of the dictionary. Memory is in the middle. And a word like wood is towards the end. Ernie was using his personal dictionary mainly for words related to his work, such as veneer. Under V, he could have added several more, such as various and voice. There's a personal dictionary section in the Read Right Now support book. Why not start your own dictionary today? And after all that, Ernie's story has a happy ending. With his writing skills much improved and the confidence it's given him, Ernie met with his boss in Chadwick's. Tell me, Ernie, have you thought of that job offer? I have, Joe, and I, I tell you, I've been now studying for almost six months. I, I go twice a week and things are going well. I, I, I'll take the job if it's still on offer, Joe. Well, it's a deal then. Thanks, Joe. Thanks very much. And I won't let you down. I promise. <laughs> Let's summarise the main learning points we've covered this week. If you find that you're suddenly faced with having to read something, our tip is to take a moment to look for words that you're familiar with. Very often, reading just a few key words will give you enough information to understand the gist of it, so don't be put off and have a go. You could also bring the leaflet home and read it in your own time. Now, this one I had, because there's two words, I had difficulties with this one, uh, and you were telling me how to break it down. It's P L Y W O O D S, ply wood. Long words are often made up of two short words, such as wallboard or plywood. Take Maria's advice and break the word down wall and board, ply and wood. And watch out for the familiar part of the word. And then you just have to deal with the new part. If you want to improve your handwriting, practice writing simple sentences. Take a word you know well and practice making up different sentences around the word. Take Ernie's example. He wrote three bags of cement. He could also have written cement comes in bags. And remember, you don't always have to write numbers out in words. You can write them as figures instead. Why not start your own personal dictionary? It's a great way to learn new words. You can use it to check your spelling. And it also helps you to start thinking about words in alphabetical order. Like Ernie, many people have found that returning to learning and improving their reading and writing has opened up a whole new range of opportunities, just as it has for Camilla and Derek. You go in, people are so nice and um, they they just treat you like a, a person kind of thing, you're not a student, you know, they just they ask you what you what you can do, what you can't do, and then they work on what you can do and bit by bit then go into things that you can't do. 
even it helps you in the home as well because you have a better idea of uh, if you were going to buy tiles or lawn seed or something, you know, the square meters and things like that. You know what it means then because before that I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a clue. Well, we would go through the wars that you do need, you know, for the next day kind of thing or if you need to, to write a check. That's the way we, we work on, um, we worked on all the, the numbers and we got that sorted out. I would ask my husband what would it mean or else he'd say to me, well, what, read it and, and, and try and figure it out yourself because sometimes words depend on what sentence they're put into, you know. So um, sometimes you'd figure them out yourself. It gets a lot easier, you know. You don't, you're not, you're not afraid to do something. Um, if you get really, really stuck, I just come out and say, look, I can't do that. You'll have to do that for me. And you find people that they don't, they're not, they don't look at you like you're a dummy. Don't be afraid because it's not as hard as, as you imagine it to be. There are so many people out there that's the same as yourself, you know, that um, just take the bull by the horns and go for it because it's a great confidence booster. If you have any questions on anything we've covered in this or previous programmes, or you'd like some help with using the Read Right Now pack, call the National Adult Literacy Agency free phone. You can also call this number for information about reading and writing services where you live, or you could contact your local VEC directly. If you don't already have your learning pack, phone 1800 20 20 65 and order one. Calls are free. Next week, it's Kit who needs to find a job to fund her love for clothes and music. We'll see how she organises herself a job in a local coffee shop, goes on a shopping spree and finds love among the coffee cups.